Nova by three at the buzzer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh, good. Uh, Welcome back. I'm Ashley Vice, joined by Nike pole vaulter and Olympic hopeful Sandy Morris. Sandy, there's more to you than what people see on the track. You're also quite the comedian. You started a YouTube series a few years back called Things People Say to Pole Vaulters. How did that get started? Um, well, the pole vault community, we're, we're all a little bit crazy. I mean, you have to be kind of goofy and crazy to want to fling your full, yourself full speed in, in, at an inanimate object. Sorry, I got tongue tied there. but. Um, I just have always kind of taken a passion to video and um, my sophomore year of college I discovered uh, Jenna Marbles and she was kind of somebody that I watched on YouTube a lot and I was like I feel like the pole vault community needs somebody to kind of put a video out there that describes the hilarious things that we experience behind the scenes whether it's traveling with poles which is always a huge hassle or just getting the the crazy silly questions that we get as pole vaulters so um, that kind of prompted it and my friends really loved it so I made a couple of them. What's the silliest question anyone's ever asked you about pole vaulting? Um, I've been asked if they wear skis when I was traveling with them and um, I don't know what size they think skis are but um, I guess they were the biggest skis in the world. <laughs> All right let's get down to business here for a minute. You're in your first year running for Nike. How has that been so far? Oh gosh, um, it's been an amazing journey. I mean, my last year of college here at Arkansas was phenomenal, breaking collegiate records. I won my first national title, and um, that kind of set me up to go into the professional world and, and be ready for the kind of competitions that I would be presented with. Um, I, I got a chance to go overseas. I spent eight weeks in Europe competing on the European circuit, um, went head to head with some of the best girls in the world, and. And now this past season, my first uh, professional season, I ended up getting silver at the World Championships and winning my first U.S. national title. So um, having that really competitive senior year in college really set me up to transition into a professional um, season that I would be ready for. How has the training in college differed from the professional training that you've undergone? Um, well, I'm still training here at the University of Arkansas with my coach, Coach Compton. I'm just listed as a volunteer volunteer coach as well so that I can use the facilities, work with the girls, and it's a it's a really good situation because I'm here and it's a really great recruiting tool for the Arkansas team, but then at the same time I get to train with the same girls that I've been training with and work with my coach and use the facilities. And um, yeah, it's just a really awesome situation and, and the only difference really is the professional season is a bit delayed. So our competitions start a little bit later than the college girls do. So I would say the only um, thing that I struggle with is my coach cannot come to, me, come to meets with me. Um, only a few of them he can come to. And so that's been very different for me because, you know, he's at home training with the college girls and I have to go off and perform without a coach being there with me. How have you been able to adjust to that? Um, I'm just really lucky to have a really tight knit support group. Um, my parents are very supportive. My dad um, flew out to Portland a few weeks ago to be there for me at the um, USA National Championships and he was actually my coach for the day and my dad was a decathlete um, at Western Illinois um, back in college so he did the pole vault even though I've officially jumped higher than he did <laughs> and we have a good laugh about that but you know he was there to catch my step and to be there for me and sometimes in a competition that's that's all you need is just somebody to kind of bounce ideas off of. You know, I've gotten to the point where I know what I'm doing in a meet and really I just have to have somebody who can catch my step and for me to say out loud, I think I'm gonna move my standards in. I think I'll go to this different pole. What do you think? And he would just kind of verbally encourage, encourage me and it really turned out awesome. I ended up jumping a huge PR and winning US Nationals. So <laughs> I think it worked out well. What was his reaction to you jumping higher than he did? Um, it was really funny. Um, he jumped 15 feet in college and so a year ago when I jumped 15 feet for the first time we just had a good laugh about it and um, I know that my dad was a, a very talented athlete. He didn't have 
a pole vault coach. And I, I honestly think that if my dad did have a pole vault coach, he would have jumped 18, 18, six at the time. And um, that was back in the 70s. So I don't know, we just got we just got a good kick out of it because I mean, for him to be able to say that he has a daughter who has jumped higher than him in the pole vault, it's, it's just a funny situation. <laughs> Since he's kind of been in the track world, how does he feel about you training for the Olympics? Oh gosh, my parents uh, joke about all the time how I must have gotten every single ounce of athletic ability <laughs> from their genetics as possible. You know, they were phenomenal athletes, but um, you know, they never did it, got to the level where they could do it post-collegiately. So, they, they could be nothing but proud and my entire career they have supported me and taken me all over the country to get in the right hands of the right coaches, paid so much money out of pocket and I know that I definitely would not be where I am today if it weren't for them and all of their sacrifices. What is your ultimate goal professionally? I want to have a long healthy career. You know, pole vaulting is one of the sports that you can do into your early to mid 30s competitively. Um, to put it into perspective, Jen Schur, she's an Olympic champion, world champion, and world record holder indoor, and she just broke her own indoor world record this season, and she, I believe, is 34 years old. So. I think this will be her last go around. She'll probably retire after this Olympic season, but you never know what Jen Scher is going to do. She's kind of um, unexpected when it comes to decisions she's made. And she's on fire right now. She's doing really well. So my goal as a pole vaulter is just to do what she's done, you know, stay healthy for seven to 10 years, give myself three shots at an Olympic team and, and an Olympic medal, and um, just stay healthy and keep jumping high. Okay, this is probably the most serious question I'm going to ask you, <laughs> so be prepared. Um, if you are away in Rio at the Olympics, who's going to take care of your three snakes? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Um, I've been a huge animal lover my entire life, and uh, I've had to really cut down on the number of animals that I have just because I do travel for <coughs> four, six, eight weeks at a time once season really gets going. and. Um, I do have a boyfriend here in Fayetteville who has the lovely honor of taking care of my zoo when I leave for competitions. Um, but reptiles, or snakes specifically, are really perfect for me because they really don't take that much care once, you know, you, you feed them once a week, once every two weeks, make sure they have water. Um, they're pretty easy going pets to have, so they're kind of the perfect animal for somebody who travels a lot. Perfect fit. <laughs> yeah. All right, well that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Sandy. Yes, thanks for having we'll me. We'll be right back.